In this video, we're going to show you how to connect the NTI TRX boiler to a home or building Wi-Fi connection using an Android device. The first thing we're going to want to do is open up the access point on the boiler. To do this, we press the menu button and we press OK on the INET settings. Next we scroll to AP. We press OK on AP and you should see that value flashing with the Wi-Fi symbol. Next we're going to go to our device. And we're going to go into the settings of our Android device. We will then go to the Wi-Fi connections. You may be connected to a different Wi-Fi network. We want to click on the Wi-Fi in order to view the available networks. And we want to connect to the remote GW Thermo network. You may get a message telling you internet may not be available. We do not want to switch to mobile data. We want to remain on the remote GW Thermo network. From there, we press the home button and we open up our web browser. Next, we'll enter in the address in order to connect the boiler to the Wi-Fi. The address we want to enter is 192 .1 .1 .1 192.168.1.1 and we press go. This will open up the Wi-Fi configuration menu. From here, under the SSID list, we click Manual and we pull up the name of the homeowner's Wi-Fi connection. In this example, we're going to be connecting to a Netgear router. From there, we put the password in of the homeowner's Wi-Fi. Once we've entered the password, we click Confirm. Now we are done with our device and we go back to the boiler screen. This screen is indicating that the boiler is working to connect to the home or building Wi-Fi connection.